Guess what? We're gonna do a flash marinade on a steak and we're gonna turn macaroni and cheese upside down utilizing Main Street Bistro's top bake mac and cheese with fresh veggies, lots of big flavors. I can't wait for you to see what's happening right here on Root to Tail TV. Ingredients you forgot you have. You need big flavor to complement this great cut and flank steak it is. My bull grill is preheated and ready to roll with plenty of seasoning on the grates. This is my seasoning, it's chef shelf. It is a little bit of fennel, sugar, and sea salt with black pepper and garlic. Great complement to the overall dish of what we're doing. That goes straight away on the steak. Chopped garlic is going straight on the meat and straight over the top. Just mayo, chipotle, and just in. This stuff is a great plant-based mayonnaise product. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. A tiny bit of grapeseed oil. You guys know I'm in love with this stuff, right? I'm gonna evenly spread these out, flip this guy over, and do the exact same process. If you're going to build a crust, you're going to have to build that crust on both sides. And then this fella's going straight to the grill. About four to seven minutes on each side. Let it rest for two or three minutes, and that'll provide a perfect medium steak. Peppers are gonna go right in half. Mac and cheese is gonna go straight into the pepper cavity. Filling the bottom cap and then filling the top cap, putting it back together, wrapping it in foil and sticking it on the grill. I say 20 minutes, peppers tender, macaroni steaming hot. It's a beautiful side for this gorgeous steak. This thin sliced bacon is gonna drape over the back of our steak and we're gonna do that on both sides. And uh, when it's done, we're gonna pull it away, but it will have infused that flavor directly into our flank. These guys are done, they're beautiful. This is just the side to our steak, but it's a perfect side and it's a healthy side. We haven't changed the recipe of the Main Street Bistro Mac and Cheese. What we've done is we've given it a new home as a stuffing inside of a bell pepper for a grill condiment. It's gonna go perfect for a group of people that are outside just enjoying the weather and eating great healthy food. The steak is ready to roll. I think it's about a medium rare. You've got the ends that are probably medium, medium well. Then you've got a center cut that's a beautiful medium, medium rare. It's gorgeous, it's juicy, and I finished it really simply with some fresh crunchy peaches and asparagus and a quick vinaigrette. I'm telling you, think outside of the box. Look in your pantry. This is Root to Tail TV. For recipes like this and more, don't forget to visit cookmore.com and bv8.com.